Eliza in this room. This is literally Eliza. When Craig and Karen Stutzman think of their daughter Eliza, it will always be a bright memory because as her room shows, bright was her thing. It's a bright kid as far as bright being. It, it couldn't be bright enough and extravagant enough. So the 13-year-old loved so many things in life, including basketball and playing the piano. But in June, the news came that no parent wants to hear. Eliza was diagnosed with brain cancer. We were quickly propelled from a healthy child into, whoa, this is really serious. Over the next eight months came radiation, chemo, and other treatments that led to a total of 17 weeks spent in the hospital. But through it all, Eliza remained optimistic. We just surrounded her with positive energy because if she was going to be positive, we certainly, as horrible as this was, was going to maintain that positive time. Both Craig and Karen did everything in their power to make things normal for Eliza, her mother spending every night with her in the hospital for almost 10 weeks, time that was quickly fleeting. I got to hold her so much more than I ever would have. And I just remember her being so sweet and caring about everybody else. That sweet girl lost her battle with cancer last week. Just days into their grief, her parents are already thinking of ways that they can help others. We were so focused on by so many people that we want to focus on the just one. You know, find that family that needs that blanket of support. Um, and that's what got us through. They plan on doing that through a new fund, appropriately called the Eliza Jean Family Cancer Foundation, that would help take the financial burden off of other families going through something similar and with a name that represents so much. She just lived her life for the moment and tried to bring people joy and be a good person. Something we can all learn from. In Harmony, Rob Nesbitt, New Center.